the screen shows a free body diagram of the yo-yo. We can use the equation that the external torque is equal to the moment of inertia times the angular acceleration alpha because the necessary conditions for using this equation are fulfilled in this case. We have an axis through the center of mass and it is an axis of symmetry and the axis does not change direction. So we're okay to use this equation. Right, let's now first of all consider translational motion and write down the equation for translational motion. The resultant force in the y direction is just mg, the mass of the yo-yo times the acceleration due to gravity, minus the tension in the string T. That resultant force is just equal to the mass of the yo-yo times the acceleration of its center of mass in the y direction. That's just ACMY. The equation for the moment of inertia is just a half MR squared. And we can now write an equation for the rotational motion. So the torque is equal to the applied force, which in this case is T, times the perpendicular distance of the line of action, that force, from the axis of rotation, which is just R, the radius of the yo-yo. And this is equal to the moment of inertia of the yo-yo times its angular acceleration, alpha. And substituting in the value for the moment of inertia of a half m r squared, and then we just get times alpha, the angular acceleration. Told in the question that the string unwinds without slipping, and so the velocity of the center of mass is equal to the radius of the yo-yo r times its angular velocity omega. That is the condition for non-slip. Differentiating this equation with respect to time, we get dv cm by dt is just equal to r d omega by dt. So that means that the acceleration of the center of mass is just equal to the radius of the yo-yo r times the angular acceleration alpha. From equation two, we know that the tension is equal to a half times the mass times the radius times the angular acceleration, alpha. Substituting in for the angular acceleration from equation three, in other words, alpha is just equal to ACM, the acceleration of the center of mass, divided by the radius R of the yo-yo. We will get that the tension is equal to a half times the mass times the acceleration of the center of mass of the yo-yo. Now from equation one, we can obtain the acceleration of the center of mass as being equal to mg minus t divided by m. Rearranging that equation, we can get an expression for the tension in the string t, which is equal to a half m into mg minus t divided by m. And simplifying that, we just get that the tension is equal to mg over 3. Substituting for t in the equation for the acceleration of the center of mass, we get that the acceleration of the center of mass is equal to mg minus mg divided by 3 all over m. And again, simplifying that, it just comes down to 2 thirds g.